Thanks much. Hard to believe, two weeks ago, two weeks ago yesterday, it was Good Friday, yeah? And we um, spoke to Captain Tom Moore, who first appeared on BBC Breakfast because he had this challenge. He wanted to raise £1,000 for the NHS by walking 100 laps of his garden. So, move on 15 days. Uh, here's become a household name with a fundraising tally of just under £29 million. And we'll add to that, as of yesterday, he is topping the UK single charts. He has a number one single under his belt. Take a quick look. Let's remind you of the past four Lovely days. story coming up. A 99-year-old war veteran has decided to walk 100 lengths of his back garden. Why did you decide to do this? I know your deadline is your 100th birthday. Why? Well, I've had such marvellous service from the National Health Service, particularly the nurses. Tom, well we've got another surprise for you. Um, we've got a special guest um, with us. We've got Michael Ball with us, who I know you, whose company you enjoy very much. Walk on through the wind, walk on through the rain, though your dreams be tossed and blown. Say good afternoon to Captain Tom Moore. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good. I just need to say congratulations because you are the UK's official number one. That, that really is truly amazing, isn't it? So, delighted to say we're now joined by Captain Tom Moore, his daughter Hannah, and of course, Michael Ball as well. Good morning, everyone. And Captain Tom, may I, on behalf of uh, BBC Breakfast and all the people watching us this morning, congratulate you on your number one single. Thank you, uh, uh, Michael, and thank you, Melga. I will tell you, tell you again how pristine you're looking each morning, as you usually do. Uh, but now, to have such an honour of having Mar Mar um, uh, Michael on the, the programme, that's just out absolutely mind-blowing, because he's such a magnificent singer, and that record that he produced has been had such enormous benefit. And I say again, Michael, Thank you very, very much. Oh, Captain Tom, Michael can hear you. Michael, how are you doing? I'm overwhelmed, Naga. I really, really am. Um, uh, you know, we, we spoke last Thursday, last Friday. Yeah. Had the idea, and uh, here we are. We have a number one, well, Tom has a number one record. It's 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 sort of the, the perfect storm at the worst of, of times, isn't it? It's just been... A beautiful moment in in a, a really difficult uh, couple of weeks, and I'm so proud to be just a tiny part of this. Um, Hannah, I've got to talk. I've got to say to you as well because you, you've always accompanied um, Captain Tom whenever we've spoken to him, and I can't imagine you thought this would gather the momentum it has. I mean, you you guys are on television. You've been all, all around the world, and you've been sitting there and you know helping um, Tom and communicating. How's it been for you? Oh, extraordinary. And, and how could we ever have imagined our our small family story that we, we, we shared it because we knew we had something that we thought might bring everyone a bit of joy, but never and never ever could we have imagined um, that we were going to embark on this journey, which has been extraordinary for all of us. And and I, I speak on behalf of Captain Tom and the whole family. We, we remain graciously humbled by everything that's happened and the support from around the world it's if, if we can just add a little bit of joy to everyone's lives and raise money at the same time we we feel like we've done some good can i ask tom what was it like doing the recording because you had to record obviously you had to record the song at home what was that like for you it was outstanding never never had anything like that happened to me before i mean and um Michael's voice is so super. I mean, he, could anything be better than him? And to be able to sing along with him, that was really something which you can't, you can never imagine things like that will happen. Well, Michael, I'm going to say this cautiously. What could be better yeah. than Michael Ball singing? 
well, maybe it would be Sir Tom Jones singing. And uh, we've got a little moment here because Sir Tom has uh, been talking about Captain Tom because Sir Tom Jones had the previous record for the oldest person to have a number one single. That's been blown Smashed. out of the water. So let's hear what Sir Tom had to say. Captain Moore, from one Tom to another, congratulations on beating my chart record. If I was going to lose to anybody, it's an honour to have lost to you for all you've done raising money for the NHS. Congratulations, all the best. Captain Tom Moore, how does it feel knowing Tom Jones is congratulating you and bequeathing the record to you? Well, you took it from him. So Tom Jones left you a message to say that um, you knocked him off the spot of being the oldest person to be at number one, but he was happy if it was going to be knocked off the spot that he was knocked off by you. So what would you like to say? He, he's not live, but he sent a message. I, 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 Tom Jones. I admit to me, a, a super Welshman, you really have, you were at the top for so long, and if I've really knocked you off, I'm ever so sorry. It was no, we didn't mean any harm at all, Tom. <laughs> uh, but um, you are, you're, so, you're still a, a, a super singer. I watch you and listen to you with pleasure. Oh, Tom, that's so lovely of you to say it to him. I, I don't think he minds too much. Um, were you a Tom Jones? Are you a Tom Jones fan? Are you and the family a Tom Jones fan? Yes, I, you, I've always been a, 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 a fan of Tom Jones. But and there's some of them which is, have been going on for a long time, long, for a number of years, but are still absolutely enjoyable. I, I always listen... Enjoy listening to Tom Jones. Uh, Michael, I saw you. I saw you giggling there. It's such a delight hearing Captain Tom talking about Sir Tom Jones. I, I mean, th the these are extraordinary times, aren't they? They are. And how long will it be until it's Sir Tom talking about Sir Tom? That's what I'd like to know. I, Tom has brought us so much focus and pleasure and joy and something to feel proud about over the last couple of weeks and um you know the record is still there you can still buy it you can still go and and, and help raise money uh for the nhs charities it's it's just a, a brilliantly beautiful story at this time i love the bones of that man i really do uh hannah let's have a little chat about how this has been for you and the family because you've allowed us to share your affection uh, for Tom and you know we're I think everyone's very grateful for that you shared what was initially just going to be a moment really for you and the family and everything has changed so much everything has changed and um, and, and as I said with at the risk of repeating myself we came up with a lovely family familial idea and we knew we were sharing something we, we set out to share something but we really did think it would just be a lovely local story and um, really, once we saw you on the Friday and, and we um, spoke to Michael on the Sunday, everything changed. And we as a family have just tried to make sure that we are giving as much back to all of you and the British public and everyone around the world as much love as we can back for all the incredible support and graciousness we have received. I've got to ask, um, Tom, how did you celebrate when you found out you were number one? And and also, I think you probably had week, two weeks of celebrations, really, because you've got your birthday on Thursday coming up, but you've had so many things to celebrate. Well, when I heard about the number one, I thought, hooray, look at that. <laughs>、uh, And also, I think you probably had week, two weeks of celebrations, really. Because you've got your birthday on Thursday coming up, but you've had so many things to celebrate. Well, when I heard about the number one, I thought, hooray, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant.、Um, how are you celebrating your birthday next week? I know there, was planning, plans for a, there were plans for a big party、um, with lots of family. That can't happen now, but I'm hoping we'll see you on your birthday. Get to wish you happy birthday. So,、um, we can't have the big 
family party well, you're yeah. expecting. So, what are your plans for um, your birthday? Well, I think uh, our plans might be made for me, but I think we will probably just have a, a very little local family party uh, because, of course, people can't come from any distance and they, they, they we all have to keep so far apart. But so I will have a lovely little party and maybe when everything is clear, we can have a much bigger party. I'm sure a lot of people want that. Tom, have you had many cards? <laughs> you know, I think that's a, be an understatement. I think the last card we had 90,000 cards <gasps> and they're still coming in. And, and just on cards, it's actually over 100,000. And if I may, if we could extend an, a huge thank you to the volunteers, who I believe now are about 60 volunteers at Bedford School opening the cards. The cards are coming thick and fast. We thank everyone. And if I could have two seconds, may I just say thank you for some cards that we've had to stop? Well, we've all been crying. We picked out a few, and it's just a few of the most amazing ones. This is from a Harvey Drawbridge, age six who calls Tom his hero, my hero. Tommy Byrne, aged eight, is um, making a time capsule and is putting his letter to Tom in it. Um, Amelia Evans put her pocket money in, 10 pounds, she's aged nine. And this one that made us all sob all day is from Lloyd Evans, aged seven, who took all the money from his, um, his money box at 52p. And can you imagine what this is doing to us? We're using lots and lots of tissues. Thank you very much, everybody. Oh, that 100,000 cards and some brilliant... Hannah, thank you for doing that. That That's just so lovely. Michael, you've been an emotional wreck through this. And you, 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 you watch that. I mean, this is... You've helped to do this. Well, I've been a small part of it. You know, a, a lovely idea that, that, that seems to have worked. I had one goal, which was to make Tom number one on his 100th birthday and the people of this country got behind him and made it happen and uh it is just a beautiful story it's a beautiful story they're such a lovely family hannah i think is so gracious and and uh it's 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 all good and stop it i'm gonna get emotional and cry oh well you would be <laughs> forgiven you'd be forgiven for it you know, you know what michael have a lovely day this i can see the sun shining behind you i'm assuming that's your garden um enjoy that i know you love tom and i know you'll stay in touch with him and we'll we'll speak again we'll we will speak again no doubt look after yourself i'm going to say goodbye because i've got we've got a little surprise for captain tom moore as well um we've got um the veterans minister uh, Johnny Mercer, M MP, who is joining us now from Plymouth. And um, Captain Tom Moore, um, I'm going to hand over to Johnny Mercer to let him give his message to you. Morning, Johnny. Morning. Yeah, Captain Tom, just a, a huge thank you um, for what you've done. It really, it really is remarkable. And um, my, my generation of, of veterans always um, looked to your generation of veterans, particularly in, in recent wars and so on. Um, but you've shown that, that, you know, right into where you are now. I can't believe you're 100 next week. Um, if I'm in as good shape as you at 100, I'll be happy. Um, and look, we'll do, we'll do something to celebrate your birthday. Uh, you've done a remarkable thing for the nation. You, you have continued that, that spirit and that ethos that we all aspire to. And, um, just a huge thank you, and I'm in awe of what you've done. Hannah, I hope Tom can hear some of that. Uh, if not, could you just sort of uh, pass that on for us? I will. Um, do we have time now? Yes, yes. please. Um, the, the Veterans Minister has said um, how extraordinary you are and everyone is looking up to you, and if he's in as good a shape as you are at 100, he'll be very happy. And commending you on the extraordinary work that you've done, inspiring people around the world to do good things. That's very kind of you to say that. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Hannah and Tom, we're going to thank you for now. We will speak again. I'm really hoping we're going to speak to you on next Thursday because it's a bit of a moment. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely, lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Oh.
Just lovely, just lovely. Well, you saw we had Johnny, we have um, Johnny Mercer there, the Veterans Minister. We will talk to him again, but we want to highlight um, something that's been happening. One of our reporters, JJ Chalmers, has been to meet some of the 4,000 retired service personnel who have answered the Prime Minister's plea to help tackling the pandemic. 